evening, everyone. I'm Rob with MMORPG.com. Tonight I have with me John Stewart from Hunted Cows Studios. We are here to talk to you about Elven. Evening, John. Evening, Rob. How are you doing? I'm doing better than you. For those of you that don't know, uh, Hunted Cow Studios is over in the UK, so it's about 2.30 in the morning for John. Um, I have to forgive him if he's a little sleep deprived, but we appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, and yeah, I think I'm good. <laughs> All right, so we for everybody that's watching, this is um, this is Eldvin. Did I say that right? Eldvin? You say that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And this is a MMORPG. It is in a browser base, so any Java-enabled browser, you'd be able to play this game in. Um, I have, you say a mohawk, just with like a, a funny, just pretend it's an H even though it's a J. Are you a <laughs> jock? Uh, yeah, jock is nicknamed for John in Scotland, so just mojock is, or mohawk, anything really, just John is fine. Okay, so uh, funny, funny story. I had worked with a guy when I lived in England, and his name was Gerald. And uh, he called himself Jez. And it's like, you know, you really wouldn't go by that nickname if you moved to the States. Just FYI. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Lefty Bot with us. And we're going to go ahead and show you some of the content in the game. We're approximately, what are we, level 10? I think I'm 9, almost 10. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to actually see us level up and go through some of the progression on how the game works. Um, just to let you know, I've played the game before. I've had a number of articles on it on MMORPG.com. Please go ahead and take a look at them. The game starts off, it has a very nice intro, and that's one of the things that they changed um, from the original release when it was in beta before it went uh, completely public. Is the, they made the introduction experience, tutorial experience, more robust and give you a better explanation of, and our fourth member just came on. And so that was definitely, for those of you out there like, ah, oh, beta, open beta, what's the difference? They do, and the Hunted Cow definitely did do some work on this game. And another thing that was added was the full screen. That was one of the things I complained about, actually, in my first article. I was like, you know, this is great, but it'd be really nice if there was a full screen mode. So thanks for doing that. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, our whole thing behind the behind the release and supporting the game beyond releases, trying to add everything the players are asking for. Like the, I think the other big thing that people have complained most about probably is we have no WASAD, so um, we're planning to launch that probably like this Thursday. So we're definitely working on WASAD. We're working on some other missing features that we just qu didn't quite get in for launch. And we're also still developing more endgame content as such. You know, I'll actually come to your defense on this. You said missing features. Um, you know, click the move is pretty common in Asian games. So, I mean, it's not like it's out of the realm of, you know, ordinary that you're actually a click the move as opposed to having the Wasid, which for anybody out there is like, well, what do you do with those? You control your camera angle. So that's what you're doing with WASD. You're spinning around, moving up and down. Um, but anyways, back to you creating in-game content. How fun is that? Yeah, no, that's definitely one of the, the things we like doing the most, I guess. Um, we have, um, well, we just released our uh, Founder Pack edition of the art book this week, and I guess that's kind of been a big teaser for the guys, because there's five dungeons that are all concepted, monsters, creatures, descriptions, you know, that they just haven't got yet, so they're going to be getting new content probably here in the next few weeks, as well as the other features that they've been asking for. I mean, that. Uh, the one thing about this game or the one thing about our team is we really are very small, but we're working kind of around the clock and as hard as we can to keep improving. As evident by you showing up at 2.30 in the morning here with us. So uh, <laughs> so what do we got on tap for the demonstration this evening? What are we going to show the fine folks out there? All right, so this is um, this is actually the second dungeon. Okay. So our first dungeon is actually balanced for like two players and is level five. So this is the first one where we need a group. I think this one is balanced for four. I mean, our normal group size is five. And then later on, higher level, we have legendary creatures and stuff like that that, that need way more than um, than five. But yeah, you can just zone on in. I guess we'll wait and see when Lefty catches up. But this is, this is our first level 10 dungeon. So um, kind of just... 
the story behind this one, I guess, is that um, they're trying to we're trying to expand our frontiers, or the the Eldevin are kind of like uh, trying to make alliances because the kind of the whole world is the lore is that um, basically there was six orbs of ultimate power, and um, each orb, you know, changed the land so. Essentially, the Eldevin is in the nature realm, and we have the nature orb, and it's kind of like a peaceful realm, and we're kind of like expanding north towards the light realm. But down in the south, you know, the dark, the dark empire has a dark orb, and it's corrupted the the, the holder of the orb, and now he's kind of intent on domination of the entire land. So we're kind of we're in this area. We're just trying to clear out all the creatures and sort of fortify our alliances. I mean, the 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 way the the lore works is as we uh, level up, we're kind of moving towards an impending um, invasion from the Dark Empire, and that's kind of the content you'll start seeing at level fifty because we kind of have tiered content planned moving forward with the whole war and everything. That sounds good. So Sorry this is about actually, it. No, that's fine. So this is the second dungeon. The first dungeon, I, you said it was like level five. I'm not sure if I went in there, but is that, you said it was tuned for two people. Oh, there's a nice little skull line here, so let me get back to that thought. Uh, I guess this is a, to mark a delineation to let us know that that's going to be some kind of boss room there, or just a big bad. Yeah, these are uh, bosses, so when we walk through the barrier, we'll essentially start combat, and then, you know, you can't leave or anything like that. So we either, we either kill him or we wait. Awesome. I love how his name is Clevis. Yeah, so that should give you a hint on some of his abilities. I was wondering if that was an indication that we should be aware of. Right, Tank. Alright, so I am Tank. Um, I'm not sure we have a dedicated healer. You are a mage, so I hope you can figure out your moves pretty quickly. Um, uh, I'm just throwing, I think... Uh, should be fireballs. You should have a heal on there as well. Revitalize. That I might need you to throw at me, something like that. So okay. I guess we'll see. You have to revitalize. There you go, don't expect it anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Huntino Legend, defeat Levis. Um, oh, there we go. So, if you're the tank, it doesn't look like he's attacking you. Yeah, I have. I taunted him straight away, and I guess the stranger yeah. just pulled in um, at low level. I, uh, that, I suppose that's one thing that's kind of different about our game in that, like, okay, I can... Let me make sure I can hack room, then I can speak. That's not quite right. Let's gotta make sure okay, I so healing. Uh, yeah, that guy is he's just he must just be way out damaging me. Um I'll just heal some donuts then. <laughs> wow. Um yeah, so the the one thing that I was gonna try to say is although we kind of have six architect uh, archetypes, classes, huh? whatever you wanna call them, we um don't limit you in any way, shape, or form, I guess when we uh, defeat this guy, we can have a look at the talent trees, and what you can see is, um, so every, every level up, you get like a talent point, similar to like how we let you spend your attribute points, and um, you're 100% free to talent into all six class trees, so... Um, we've actually seen some like really borderline uh, overpowered builds where people have really found like some really niche combos. I guess we had some guy who was like ten points in assassin, ten points in warrior, and like twenty two points in templar, and he was like this uh, crazy tank warrior dodge dual wielding guy in heavy armor, which was just kind of a build that we never even thought. You know, we we kind of built the system to give diversity, but some of the stuff we people have come up with is really quite interesting. So what's this remnant bar, by the way? Like I saw the other, is that a, cra a rare crafting material? I saw the other two were like useful items. This one looks different. Yeah, so what we've done in terms of like, we didn't want you to just run the dungeons and instantly get um, Yeah, sorry, it's a little bit late. Uh, we want, didn't want you to just run the dungeons and instantly get all the gear and be like, all right, I got everything. Where, where's the rest of the game or what, what can I do with this? Um, so what we do is in a lot of the dungeons, we obviously have gems for for sockets. You know, that's kind of a staple Diablo, WoW, whatever 
you want to call them. But um, yeah, remnants are items that are yeah absolutely used in um, basically crafting higher tier items. So most of the loot that you'll find in dungeons is rare. Um, I mean, the way we've done it is uh, you get fine gear, um, then you get rare gear, and then you get what we've called heroic gear. Is like kind of like a. I should be taunting these. I'm a terrible tank. <laughs> All right. I'm sitting here trying to figure so, out which point, which attribute point to put in the tree. I just went with uh, the mage and stuck it. You know, I, I played it safe, stuck it in the mage and all the day. But then yeah, I so, actually get uh, skill points as well to put into my like. Intel. I I thought I remembered that. Unless maybe that changed. Yeah. No. In the bottom left-hand corner, you should see little orange alerts, um, and these are based on like. Um, there we go. Attribute points to spend. Right here we go. I so, have six. Yep. Another thing that we've seen a lot of is people sure like to uh, go one. You know, people talk about glass cannons being like mages or whatever. But like in our game, if you want to be glass cannon, yeah, you can really just point every single point you got into sorcery or every single point you got into focus, which does crit. And um, I mean. <laughs> It, three in it sorcery, kind of works. yeah. Three in sorcery, two in focus, and one in vitality. Give myself a little bit more hit points. Yeah, I mean it. It kind of works, and then we put a boss in that does like a ton of area damage, and we get people in the forum like, "No, <laughs> I want to put all my points in yeah. sorcery." We're like, "Okay." My crazy build didn't well, work we... out too well. <laughs> yeah, but um, the the one thing that I guess people really like as well is by able to. So we have, um, as well as the talents that I was talking about being, um, there's no restriction on that. We actually have a bunch of shared abilities. So these are just abilities that you buy off the trainer for a gold cost and um, the same deal goes. So you could be a tank in full plate armor, but if you want to buy, like uh, there's a move called Redemption, which is like a damage reduction shield that's kind of like inherently a healer ability. But if you're a tank and you think that'll help you tank more and you get the gold, then you can just buy that. And as long as you've got mana to cast it, you know, you're good to go. All right. is it, so, uh, no, go for it. For the people that were, you know, are up in arms saying, oh, my spec didn't work. I mean, do they have the ability to respec and change it? Or can you have multiple different specs and swap back and forth? Or is it kind of like what you... Because I noticed, like, I just spent my attribute points. Um, when I spent my talent point, it, it had a confirmation window. It was like, are you sure? But when I spent my attribute points, it didn't have that. It was like I clicked it and they were there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, we let you respec for free, um, but once you've done it once, you go on cooldown, and if you want to do it more often, then you either um, you even have to wait for it to come back off cooldown, or uh, you can you can reset it with like uh, in-game, sorry, uh, Eldevin points, which are like our microtransaction currency. Gotcha. But we definitely give you. It f so yeah, you I do know. get the ability to do it for free. There's a cooldown yep. involved with it, but if you want to do it more often, you. Based. Yeah, so, um, okay. but um, as I say, like, I think um, most people have um, kind of, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I think it's like, uh, I think it's pretty fair the way it works. Like, we used to give you free respects only up to level 15, and then we wow. kind of thought that that was a bit rubbish, and that, like, all right, once you're past 15 now, what, you got to buy every one, so putting on cooldown seems better if, to me oh, anyway. I, Look, I'm tanking, yay. Yeah, no, that's it. I don't disagree with you that it's not a fair practice. If you give people the ability to do it for free then allow them to do it more frequently with the microtransaction. There's, if you, if you never let them do it, I mean, there are games that never let them do it. It's purely microtransaction based. So, you're not outside of the realm of normal there. We just got Donut just earned do ton a tell achievement. I did not get that. Apparently, I'm not cool enough. It's supposed to be detonate, but I guess with passion. I'm just terrible. Yeah, detonate. I it'd be probably good if I could read. That's all right. Well, there's some uh, mage gloves for you, so that's cool. Yeah, that's something else we've done in every dungeon. Is um, so we're trying to do dun one at least one dungeon every five levels. Some levels we or some. I guess brackets for seeing every five levels, like 10, 15, 20, 25, we have two, you know, so we try and do.